in one of the verses that we recited tonight, Allah Rabbul Izzah says, وَعِنْدَهُ مَفَاتِحُ الْغَيْبِ لَا يَعْلَمُهَا إِلَّا هُو And with him are the keys of the hidden unseen. No one has access to it but him. وَيَعْلَمُ مَا فِي الْبَرِّ وَالْبَحْرِ and he, Jalla Subhanah, knows whatever is on land and whatever is in the sea. وَمَا تَسْقُطُ مِنْ وَرَقَةٍ إِلَّا يَعْلَمُهَا And a leaf from a tree doesn't fall except that Allah has full knowledge of it and except that it falls by the command of Allah Rabbul Izzah. Jalla Jalalu Al-Malik, that is the absolute king. And in a hadith, Allah, the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam tells us that it is already predestined on which side that leaf would land. وَمَا تَسْقُطُ مِنْ وَرَقَةٍ إِلَّا يَعْلَمُهَا وَلَا حَبَّةٍ فِي ظُلُمَاتِ الْأَرْضِ وَلَا رَطْبٍ وَلَا يَابِسٍ إِلَّا فِي كِتَابٍ مُبِينٍ And there isn't a seed وَلَا حَبَّةٍ فِي ظُلُمَاتِ الْأَرْضِ in the crevices of the earth, in the darkness of the earth, whether it is green or whether it is burnt out, except that Allah Rabbul Izzah has full record of it in a book with him. So don't think that anything in the kingdom of Allah Rabbul Izzah happens without the knowledge and the permission of Allah Rabbul Izzah. And it is out of his Wisdom and kindness and mercy that he Azza wa Jal blessed me and you with Islam. This isn't accidental. Allah Rabbul Izzah honored you with it. And another verse which we recited tonight, the beginning of which led me to another verse in my head. Allah Rabbul Izzah says, وَمَا قَدَرُ اللَّهَ حَقَّ قَدْرِهِ and they didn't appreciate or understand Allah Rabbul Izzah as, he, as it was his right to be understood and appreciated. You didn't understand your Lord as you should have understood your Lord. And, and then in that verse, Allah Rabbul Izzah gives us an understanding of his majesty. And to give you a better understanding, I want to become a little bit scientific with you. If you look up in the morning, you see that burning sun. S-U-N, that sun. That sun has a radius of 695,000 kilometers. Like when I say that, you can't fathom it. You think it's big. 695,000 kilometers from the center of the sun to its surface. But your head and my head can't imagine numbers like that, so I will make it visualizable for you. Imagine the sun to be a big ball, red ball, one meter in radius, two meters in diameter, that big. And imagine it hot, surface temperature 15 million degrees centigrade. It's huge. Our earth compared to this sun is a little ball that big, nine millimeters in radius, located 200 meters away. And you say it is too hot, 40 degrees. Right now in Yemen and in those countries, temperatures reach near, you know, near 50. How far? 200 meters away from a ball that big. Imagine the heat that this ball is producing. The 200 meters away you're burning because of it. You say don't walk out in the sun without, you know, sun protection. Your skin will get cancer. And if you were to get our little planet earth on which is your lives, your marriage, your children, your families, your careers, your lives, your deaths, your governments, all on a two, on a nine millimeter speck, 200 meters away. If you were to get that little earth and bring it to the sun and flick it at the sun, it would pop like popcorn. You know, like you have popcorn, you would have pop earth. It would combust. 
It is unimaginable. And you can fit 1.3 million Earths inside the sun. Do you understand the size? And that sun is the closest star to us. There are other stars to which our sun is a little speck. It will swallow it whole. And some of the stars are located a hundred light years away from us. You know, when you look up at night, you see those twinkles. They are centuries away from us. And all of that is just in the first sky, the first heaven. Allah Rabbul Izza says, وَزَيَّنَّ السَّمَاءَ الدُّنْيَا بِمَصَابِيحِ And we decorated the sky of your world with these twinkles. All that, first heaven. The hadith says, the first heaven compared to the second heaven is like a ring in the desert. And the second heaven to the third heaven, like a ring in the desert. Can you imagine dropping a ring in the beach, in the sand? You can't find it. As in, you, you're a speck. I couldn't find you with an electron microscope. And can you imagine the arrogance of man? That little speck on a speck. Allah Rabbul Izzah says, وَضَرَبَ لَنَا مَثَلًا and that little thing is giving examples to us. So the third heaven to the fourth like a ring in the desert, fourth to the fifth like a ring in the desert, fifth to the sixth a ring in the desert, sixth to the seventh a ring in the desert. And Allah Rabbul Izzah says, وَمَا قَدَرُ اللَّهَ حَقَّ قَدْرِهِ and they didn't appreciate Allah as it was his right to be appreciated. And then he gives you a glimpse of understanding. And the earth in its entirety is in his hand. The day of judgment. And the seven heavens will be scrolled up in his right. Subhanahu wa ta'ala amma yushrikun. Glory be to him. How high above is he from anything you associate with him? That is the majesty to whom me and you bow down. Musa alayhi salam. And Musa alayhi salam is of the Uli al Azmi min al Rusul. He says, Rabbi arini anzur ilayk. O oh Allah, show yourself. I want to look at you. Little human wants to look at the Creator. So Allah Rabbul Izza says, Lan tarani Musa, you can't see me. Walakin unzur ila al jabal. But look there at that mountain. Fa in istaqarra makanahu fa sawfa tarani. If that mountain stands its ground, then assume, imagine you have seen me. There's falamma tajalla rabbuhu lil jabal. And when Allah Rabbul Izza manifested his greatness or an infinitely minute aspect of his greatness to the mountain, Ja'alahu dakkan wa kharra Musa sa'iqa. Allah Rabbul Izza made the mountain crumble and Musa over there fell unconscious. That is Allah Jalla Subhanahu. And that is the Lord that me and you worship, and that is the Lord that prescribed the fast upon us. May Allah Rabbul Azza accept your ibadah and ours, and help us understand the majesty of Allah Rabbul Azza, so that when you understand who your Lord is, then you realize that, listen, this pukey little person, and this pukey little idol, and this pukey little grave, and this pukey little animal has no power, and all power and authority is with the one that created everything. إِنِّي وَجَّهْتُ وَجْهِيَ لِلَّذِي فَطَرَ السَّمَاوَاتِ وَالْأَرْضَ حَنِيفًا وَمَا أَنَا مِنَ الْمُشْرِكِينَ وَالسَّلَامُ عَلَيْكُمْ وَرَحْمَةُ اللَّهِ وَبَرَكَاتُهُ